Hi, this is Devin Hobb with Remax, and we are in Pleasant Grove today. This property is gorgeous and it has a lot of features, starting off with a recent remodel and uh, I'll take you through all the home and show you the different things that have been updated. But this property is unique in the sense that out this window, there is a near 2,000 square foot detached garage. It's got an RV bay, so tall enough for an RV, and I think it's 34 feet deep. And then there's a two car garage that's also a two car bay, but it's two car tandem, so two car deep. So you got four cars there, an RV, and then there's still more workshop space to the side where the owner had had plans to put a apartment in there and you'd still have all of the parking for the two car and the RV. So lots of options in this big garage. There's 220 uh, wiring in there as well for an electric car or a welder and uh, lots of features over there. So now I'll take you on a tour of the inside of this home and point out some of the upgrades. So we do have a gas stove and a gas oven. Uh, this is a nice high quality stove here. There's quartz countertops and then the drawers are all full extension. They've been custom built with dovetail craftsmanship and they're all soft clothes. And so lots of uh, drawer space and then to the ceiling with the cabinets. So beautiful tile backsplash all the way to the ceiling as well. And uh, right here, this is a nice walk-in pantry slash laundry. Custom built-ins here. There's a Costco door from the garage and then uh, a nice barn door to close that off. There's uh, custom light fixtures, a big dining room space. This home has had insulation added in the attic and so the R value of this home is very good. It's very efficient on the energy. And uh, the flooring is LVP flooring throughout the whole high traffic area. Um, before we move on from this great room, I'll just point out there's no backyard neighbors. So it's about a full acre away where there's a neighbor and there's just an apple orchard and the deer, the local deer like to hang out in the apple orchard back here. And then when you're sitting down here, there's just beautiful mountain views towering over the property. So yeah, it's a beautiful home in a, in a gorgeous setting. Here's the entryway and we've got bedroom number one right here. So this is a guest bedroom. It's a good size. This is a queen bed. So you can see plenty of space, lots of closet space. And then we've got the master bedroom here. So this is a gorgeous master bedroom. The highlight here is both the master bathroom and this big walk-in closet. So custom built-in shelves. This is a dream closet right here. Um, lots of space. And we've got a built-in desk. And then this master bathroom has the double shower heads, custom tile work here. And again, the same cabinet maker made these uh, dovetail and full extension and beautiful quartz countertops as well. I'll take you downstairs and on the way we do have this hall bath for the guests in the home and it's a three quarter bath. Nice tile work in the bathroom as well. So downstairs, uh, we've got the modern black metal railing that's been added. We've got a very good size uh, family room down here. So kind of entertainment area here, another space for toys and things. This is a gas wall heater just to heat the room separately if you ever wanted. So bedroom number three is right here. They use it more as a craft room, but it's a functional bedroom. And then down the hallway, by the way, the carpet was all replaced just about two years ago and it's got the memory foam padding underneath. Um, this is the utility closet, currently used as mostly storage, but it does have a high efficient furnace as well as a tankless water heater. So you're not going to be running out of hot water if all three showers are on at one time. Uh, this is bedroom number four, very large room. It's got a neat nook here where they currently use triple bunk beds. Those are not built in and they, they won't stay, but that's a good feature. And then plenty of closet space here, as well as some more built-ins there. So this is a, a fun room here. And then we've got bedroom number five, and this one's also a very good sized room and has a nice closet here. And then this bathroom serves the basement. So nice drawers down the side, 
quartz countertops, custom tile shower, and tile flooring as well. So now I'll take you out to the backyard and show you just how far back the property goes and the different features that are back there. All right, so back here, we've got a nice covered patio. At the time of making the video, it just snowed for a few days and everything's kind of wet right now. But we've got a nice covered patio here with ceiling fans, vintage lights, and I forgot to mention the homes already had the radon mitigation system installed, which is right there. Um, but yeah, in the summertime, this is really neat to, to hang out. There's some electrical outlets over here for dishes being served. And up here, we've got a fenced in massive little mini farm. So we've got some chickens. Uh, there's a chicken coop, storage shed. On the back side, you can't really see, but it, it comes to a triangle point and there's another chicken coop um, that all of these things will stay. There are three fruit trees. I think it's apricot, apricot, and a plum, if I remember right. And, um, and then we've got some gardening beds. And uh, so yeah, there's that area there, the free roaming chicken area. Um, and this would be whatever you want, but the, the owners had a nice little bike track here for the kids. Um, and then down here is the big garage. So I'll take you in to the big garage. Well, actually, we can access it from the back. We can access it from the back, but I'll take you through to the front. So here in the front yard, we've got a long driveway here. This is an RV pad that uh, the owner had been renting out. You can rent out lots of RV pad space. There's, there's this one and there's another spot on the side of the garage over there. But the home has a two car garage attached, which is a good size, it's a normal garage. And then down this way, we've got the big detached garage that I'll show you now. And this garage is hooked up on the MyQ app. So the garage motors were all replaced about two years ago and they have uh, Wi-Fi and MyQ. So that way, if you decide to rent out some of the garage for boats and cars and RVs, the people you rent to can come and go as they want with their own app. Uh, or you can keep it all for yourself. So this is, a, I think, an eight foot tall door. And then this one here is probably 14 feet, if I remember right, maybe 15 even. Um, and so that's the RV bay. I think it's 34 feet long. And so the owner does rent uh, this RV spot out for, I believe, 100 a month to family. That's probably a discounted rate, but um, it's possible that, that the people would like to continue renting. It's just a month to month agreement. Um, but anyways, there's a lot of potential for income on this garage or just your own fun hobbies. So you could fit two cars and two cars. So four right here. There's a sub panel with a 220 um, outlet over there and still all of this space. So the owner had in mind right here, putting in a studio apartment with a access from the upstairs window over there so you could have like a main floor, just a little studio on one level up there and still have all the storage below. So lots of potential here um, to do a lot of different things. But this, this shop is a dream for people that would use it or it's an income for people that would like to rent to people with boats and RVs. And the last uh, bit of space that's on this land is over this way. And the property line goes over here to this wagon wheel and that stake and it goes back to that stake and then up diagonal. So you also have all of this RV pad space and the owner does collect rent from this one. Um, and that's also within her family as well. So these are both just rented to family members, but lots of potential. You could probably put two RVs here, one in the garage, one over there and pay for, you know, put some boats in the garage and probably get close to a thousand dollars a month in passive income if that's what you want to do or just have fun with all your own hobbies. I hope you enjoyed watching that video tour and got a good feel for the layout of the home as well as the property and the different features of this, of this listing. 
If you'd like to come and see it in person, feel free to reach out to me or the agent you're already working with and come and see this home. Thanks for watching.